My name is Angela Jurgler. I grew up in a very traditional church environment where I felt like God was just this distant higher power who I had no relationship with. As soon as I left home for college, I completely put church, religion, and God out of my life. I met my husband, Scott, who was also a non-believer, so it was easy for me to continue down that path away from God. When we experienced infertility, it confirmed for me that God either didn't exist or he definitely wasn't for me. At the same time, though, I kept feeling like I was missing out on something. Once we had kids, I realized that I should start looking for a church that could help teach them about Jesus. About the same time, I started seeing signs for Gwinnett. As soon as I walked in the building, I felt like I belonged even though I didn't believe. I joined a starting point group where I started to learn how to have a real and loving relationship with Jesus. Two years ago, my fourth child, Callie, suffered a severe brain injury at birth. The following day, I learned the true meaning of surrender and accepted Jesus. I gave it all to him, my daughter's health, my peace of mind, everything. After three days of them telling us that there was no way we would take a healthy baby home, they took her off her treatment and she made a complete recovery within 24 hours. As her doctor was sitting there telling us that there's no scientific way to explain why she was healthy, I just thought to myself, wow, this is what God has been trying to tell me. He is here, he is listening, and he is supporting me no matter what, and I should really start trusting him. Jesus has changed my life in so many ways, my relationships and my decisions, and even causing a complete career change. If I had continued to ignore him, I would have missed out on so many beautiful things. I'd like to thank my friends, Aaron and April, who were those first people who were willing to answer my hard questions and showed me the real example of what it is to love Jesus. I'd also like to thank my starting point leader, Tracy Atfield, and her husband, Cliff, who I know were put in my life at the right time for a very special reason. I am here today to tell you that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Well, Angela, it's, it doesn't get much better than this. <laughs> it's, so, it's so great to be with you here today and just to follow you along as you've, as you've walked this journey. And I just wanna thank you for, it feels like every step along the way, truly trusting that you could come here and you could belong before you believe. And you really embraced that in every step you took while you, while you worked through that question and you answered for yourself of, who is Jesus? Who's Jesus? And then I remember when Callie was born, um, Gosh, we were all we were all just devastated, and it was so it was so difficult. And you and I have talked about this before. We know that it's not your faith that healed her; that's that's not how it works. But your faith did allow you to walk through that, which is one of the one of the most difficult things I can even imagine a parent experiencing. But your faith allowed you to walk through that, regardless of what the outcome was going to be. And I know as one of the many. Many people, you may not believe this, but as one of the many, many people here who you've inspired by your faith, thank you. Thank you for how you've walked that out. It's because of your profession of faith in Jesus as your Lord and Savior that I'm so honored to baptize you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs>